Welcome to another mega exciting fight from Auto Pairing. So let's try this Grand Prix attack. I've been playing this a bit in Bullet with some success. Or even in over the board. As long as you play bishop c6 and I want to play the position Check. position now, I think it should be okay. This guy's very confident. Let's slow down. I think I'm gonna be zapped if I'm too quick. Yeah, his rating's pretty good. Can I take in a ninety-five? Check. Try and slow down a bit. Check. Queen F three coming up. C3, D3, I think this looking at C6 is going to be annoying. I've had this idea in another game recently, um, trying to make sure that Bishop's not a monster, like tied down to some point, extent. Uh, but he's trying to play dynamically with it. I'll just fix it behind that, that pawn. move my rook away I don't want to liberate this bishop basically but on the other hand my position stuck I'm pretty stuck here oh knight f7 I had knight f7 ah oh, too quick for queen h5 did I not have knight f7 ah oh, oh, muppets he's extinguished my knight f7 okay I'm going to try and create some Weakness anyway. D4, CD, Bishop D2. Is Bishop still stuck? And I get my Bishop out. I know it's a pawn. Unfortunately, he's got F6, hasn't he? Is F6 just winning material? Oh no, oh no, 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 F6. Oh, disaster. No, actually, rookie five on the bishop again. F6 is threatened clearly now. Let's turn this diagonal. I might need it when the bishop comes there. This diagonal could be useful for me. This rook left could be useful. Rooking free to g3. c4 worth up for bishop c3. I think just rookie free to g3. Although I'd like to have bishop c3 on the cards. <clears throat> Do I really take? Do I really play c4? But he's going to play c4 and be laughing. I'm wondering if this is more troublesome to sack another pawn with, rookie f with c4. Uh, ah, I go like this. play rook g3 don't I? c4 bishop c3 could be handy after that so I'm defending and trying to defend and attack I'm hoping this is promising rook g3 c4 bishop c3 but I thought he was going to play for c4 soon Rook g3 and get the other rook round, maybe sack on g7. 
C4E blocks, he protects my A2 pawn. So there is a downside. If he doesn't play C4, then I get C4, Bishop C3 later. Could be dangerous. Spending some time here. <clears throat> All right, get this rook g3 in. Stops rook h6. Anyway, there's a queen f7. Knight's still pretty good. Is he not going to play c c4 himself at some point? Well, not just b3 if I want to play c4. Okay. B3 if it wasn't for my back row. Maybe h3 then. I'm trying to sort out my back row in advance for b3 takes it on that a file will be b3 here yeah. try and get this a file it hasn't got queen one it's got queen one king h2 anytime the rook moves as queen f7 if he's not careful So c4, queen d4. There's also rook d3 on the cards. Not here. Let's try and get his queen off here. So I'm threatening rook d3. Where does this other rook belong? I like the time advantage. He's giving me a uh, rook f1. Hold f4 for a moment. That's one thing to do. I hope text d3 like that. Queen g5 is not doing anything. Can I go back or not? Maybe. If I get in this bishop c3, queen e1, bishop c3. Is it worth it? Oh, rook h3 is in the air. Or bishop h4. He's rocky free. I'm trying to avoid getting zapped. And G4, G3. There's G3. Oh no, he's going to take out my knight. Knight F3, I think. Right. Um. Yeah, G3 is not. Knight g5, knight g1, knight e1 by elimination. Let's protect f4. g3. Knight goes back. Right. e6 is an issue. Potentially. Oh, I'll take this. Um, there's never any bishop c3, is there? Is there bishop c3? Is it? Is pretty hopeless here, huh? bishop c3. C5. something that's really horrible check I 
Hang on. Check. Check. Oh. Check. 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 I thought for some time. I thought Ah, oh, he just quits queen. He left his queen hanging. He was clearly going to lose on time if he didn't play instantly. But his queen was just hanging. I was on rook g7 in the end. I had big time advantage at one point. Uh, so five seconds to three, and so he leaves his queen hanging, and now he's got perpetual. Um, but it's not an automatic claim, is it? Or is he nearly there? Uh, it's not um if he presses draw i think it claims i don't think there's an automatic claim of draw on freefold but i think he's got a repeat here wow i did finally get my bishop c3 concept in to attack g7 check 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 Yeah, this is, shouldn't be that good, should it? Well, the way he's playing it, um, don't seem to have such a bad position. The engine actually kind of likes my position almost, almost zero. <laughs> uh, I thought it was a finishing tactic he'd play, but it wasn't entirely. Uh, so he got his rook round. I, I can't allow. I can't allow h4. Surely, practical sense. Um, was his tactic really? Check. It's not all that anyway. Check. His tactic. Except when I play that. Oh, taking here. All oh, right. Yeah, taking out his pawn would be useful. Oh, there's also rook g3. Yeah, so if he queens, I think I'm just getting Check. a draw, right? Check. And that's 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 more than a draw. Check. It's just me here. Now this is apparently Port Knox. Okay, so. Check. No, this is um. Missed something here. You should queen here. I Check. think there's the king h6 right there. Check. 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 Yeah, I should have taken the queen. <laughs> it's it's five seconds check. versus three. Uh, check, check, check. Oh, uh, okay. It was a tense one. Lucky to get a win on time there from a practical point of view. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.